Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, it's cold as hell outside. So, we're making a hot toddy. It's, it's like, it's like winter decided, wait, what was the analogy we used today? I said that nature was in the kitchen and said, you know what I haven't had in a minute? And then went to the refrigerator and was like, some, some nice cold winter. Yeah, like it, it. It is cold. It is freezing. Today, we went outside, and I promise you, I promise you the cold was aggressive. Yeah. Like, like it was trying to hurt me. Usually, <laughs> usually in, in colder weather, like, in the morning, like, it is insufferable. But then, and then like, like it, as it the day, up. yeah. It got colder <laughs> as the day went on. Yeah. It was warmer in the morning mm -hmm. but i mean whatever yeah so we're gonna do this dream we're making a hot toddy well i'm not gonna call it a hot toddy uh, toddy has not nothing to do. toddy has nothing to do with this okay um we're gonna call it a hot something but it's not gonna be a toddy mm -hmm. and i figure it should be a colombian name since we're using kumbe today mm -hmm. for this drink mm -hmm. uh Keep in mind, I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> I hope this works. I mean, I'm just putting together ingredients, mm -hmm. you know, off the top of my head. I'm using flavor notes and stuff. I'm using notes for, uh, and charts that tell me that these flavors go best with this flavor and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, this is what we're gonna do. But we're gonna follow the hot toddy blueprint, as it were. So, you know, this won't be a complete fail mm -hmm. if it is a fail. Mm -hmm. well, it tastes good today. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> so. Traditional hot toddy. You have your lemon juice, mm -hmm. your lemon wheel with the clove in it, mm -hmm. your two ounces of whiskey, mm -hmm. uh, and some type of sugar. Right. Like uh, a couple of teaspoons of that sugar. Well, since we're gonna use the kumbe, the kumbe, and if you guys don't know about kumbe, we've done an episode, we dedicated an episode to kumbe, and then we made a drink for them. And then a couple of months ago, not even that, in December, we made another winter Christmas themed drink with kumbe. Mm -hmm. So, Needless to say, Kumbe has gotten some exposure on this channel. Right. You can go to our previous episodes and, you know, we'll, we'll link them. We'll mm -hmm. put them up there so mm -hmm. you guys can find them. Mm -hmm. And you can see what Kumbe is all about. But it's a Colombian liquor. Uh, it's flavor notes lean more towards uh, anise. Mm -hmm. For you guys that don't know what that is, that's... Uh, the taste of licorice, right? You know, more or less. Mm -hmm. And I figure we would use those tasting notes to see what what flavors go well with the knees to form a hot toddy esque drink with this with this spirit. Okay. So instead of lemon, we're gonna use lime mm -hmm. because the these flavors pair well with lime. Uh -huh. So that's why I squeezed the juice of half a lime in there, or you know, roughly a fourth. Uh, I want to say like half an half an ounce. Okay. Of lime juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, half an ounce of lime juice, mm -hmm. or the juice of half a lime. You know, whichever one you want to do. Uh, and next is we're gonna do the sugar. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. You can do brown sugar with your regular hot toddy. That's an option. You can do regular sugar, demerara sugar, brown sugar, whatever. W just whatever sugar. It just has to be. You just gotta do two teaspoons of it. So now here's a re uh, DEA. I don't have uh, actual cloves, but what I am going to do, I'm going to add some ground cloves okay. in there, okay. and that's going to be like 
roughly a fourth teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Just about. A little under. And you know, you can even mix that in with your sugar before you put it in there. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm doing it this way because you know, I have it on hand, so I might as well. And then we're gonna add our kumbay. Two full ounces. But not least, we are going to add our hot water. Roughly, I guess, four ounces. And be careful when you're doing this for all the kitties out there. Um, I don't think children are allowed to drink this. <laughs> I mean, children do a lot of things when the adults aren't looking. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> Children, if you're know. watching, if you're watching, you should not be drinking until you're 21 and over. Mm -hmm. But then even the 21 year old act. 21 year old, be careful. Yeah. Have a parent to provide. <laughs> medicinal curative type manner mm -hmm. for when you have a cold or whatnot. I don't know if this will do the same thing, but it didn't probably, I mean, if anything, it'll get you warm. Yeah. Will it taste good? We're about to find out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the garnish you know you can get a lime wheel and put some cloves in there uh, but because I didn't have the clove I went with the ground cloves smells interesting I hope it tastes good I get the lemon. Mm -hmm. Well, that lime. There, yeah. <laughs> I get the lime. Mm -hmm. It's subdued. Like it's not. And and I get it. Like you're not. You're not trying to taste it for alcohol. Are you not tasting the alcohol? Is that the? No, thing? I can taste the alcohol. Okay. The 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 cloves, the kumbe, the lime all stand out. So it, it's kind of, but but in that sense, it makes it subdued, so to speak. Is it sweet? Or is it just water? Well, is there not enough sugar in there? It's, n it's less sweet and more... Let me see what you're talking about. You're, you're... I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. So here's what you're getting. Mm -hmm. The clove, yes, combined with the kumbe, mm -hmm. it's slightly overpowering. Yes. What you want to, what you may want to do with that is cut the clove in half mm -hmm. 
I did, so what I did was, uh, one fourth of an, of a teaspoon, mm -hmm. uh, cut that in half, maybe, mm -hmm. and I even tried to do a little under that. Okay. So maybe you reduce that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um. Other than that, it doesn't taste bad. At yeah, all. it's not a bad taste. It's just I expected it'll be a little bit more sweeter. Like your own, but the cloves take over. You're getting that strong taste, like right on the top of the middle of your tongue, because mm -hmm. that's where that's where it's getting at for me. Or that may actually be the kumbe. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, the blending, like these two, the the ground, the, the cloves and the kumbe blend so well together. Yeah, it's hard to tell. But right there, like I'm tasting more clove. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I would I would drastically cut down on the clove, but it's pretty good. You are correct on that. Would you drink it again? Mm, I don't know. I think I think I don't have a problem with it. Probably, probably. I think I prefer classic. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the clothes, the clothes aren't horrible, but the fact that I taste more clothes than anything, you know what I think would actually help? Probably increasing the brown sugar and decreasing the clothes. Not by much on each, but. I do think the clothes, I do, I do think the clothes take prominence. And that for me makes it a little less enjoyable, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. One thing, it does knock the chill out. Yeah, I will reduce the clothes mm -hmm. to get rid of that. It's not like a... I think cloying is the... It's not the right word. It's just it rises it it rises to the top over every other flavor you have. That that's all it is. Cause it's not even it it's it's significant, but it's not overpowering to the point yeah. where it's undrinkable. Mm-hmm. It's an experiment. What, mm -hmm. what can I say? Mm -hmm. But with that said and done, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content coming to the channel. Also, check us out on Instagram, check us out on Facebook, and check us out on Twitter. I'm very disappointed in you guys. We are how many days in January? Like seven, six, seven days yeah, into January. And you guys haven't told me where we need to go this year. <laughs> <laughs> and what we need to eat. Mm -hmm. You guys are, you know, not doing your job. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's just not right. Yeah. At all. So you guys need to do that. Where yeah. do we need to go? Where do we need to eat? Where mm -hmm. do we need to drink? Mm -hmm. What do we need to eat? We, what do we need to drink? It, exactly. We rely Why on you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Gamora? Yes. That is, that is. I'm, I'm asking all the questions we need to be asking. Mm -hmm. um, but with that said and done, 
that'll do it for this episode. And until next time, everybody, peace.